Hello everybody and welcome. Today in this video we're going to explore the brand new Paper Pumpkin Share Sunshine Kit because it is a rare thing to get the Paper Pumpkin Kit here in Australia and it is an exciting one because it's all about cheering up and sharing sunshine. My name is Tatiana. I'm from Tatiana Creative Stamping Adventure. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in Australia. I go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. to have some creative inspiration, well, to inspire you to be creative. You know that you're watching live when you see the little red live up there. If that's not there, you're watching the recording, but please still do say hi. I read all the comments and reply. Uh, I'm really excited. I have my paper pumpkin kits arrived Monday afternoon. Yes, Monday afternoon, and I have not opened them. Morning, Amanda. Excellent people jumping on in. Let's head to the craft desk and check it out. Welcome and here it is, the paper pumpkin kit. Hey Megan, hope you're well. This is, so for those who aren't familiar with Stamping Up, Stamping Up has this kit that is a monthly kit. You can subscribe or buy it one off in North America, so Canada and America. And it's really exciting to see they keep the secret of what's inside every month until they you receive it and this particular kit is being released worldwide so North America had theirs a few months ago and since last week we've had it down here mine arrived and I thought we could create the projects together this one is inspired by Sarah Douglas our CEO of Stamping Up and it's all about sharing sunshine which is so appropriate at the moment with COVID and all sorts of things going on so as you can see I haven't even opened it yet let's check it out now we now sell the mini paper pumpkin boxes which fold out just like this so with every kit you get an ink spot this one's black you get photopolymer stamps see Ooh, I need a white piece of paper oh, there I will use the back of this envelope oh, there we go it's got sunshine you are loved sending hello smile got a sun some I don't know what they are rays I guess you could call them and a little something to brighten your day I really like that one I love how the word brighten is in that cursive font a box of sunshine. Sarah inspired paper pumpkin kit is here to help you share sunshine. Once you've made the cards, use any leftover pieces to decorate the box, fill it with yellow goodies and include it and add the included adhesive labels to address it to someone special to brighten their life. Isn't that lovely? So you can send this box to someone, cover that bit up, decorate it, and oh it even says box of sunshine on the back. How cool is that? I got my daughter one and she opened hers last night so I have seen it but I thought I would share the excitement with you live. So we've got tissue paper which you could use in your box of sunshine when you're sending it to someone. I'm going to carefully <laughs> Megan has I wish we could get the monthly subscription too. You're happy you make I'm making mine. You'll use the set but never use the paper the paper pieces or paper pumpkin. Just keep them to look at them. <laughs> well, I am absolutely going to make the cards and if we have time, I will even try to make some alternatives. Okay, so we get ooh, pretty. I wonder if they're the same. Probably not. Excuse me, I've got to sneak. Excuse me, these are, would be adhesive backed because they're on um, an acetate sheet. And what I was wondering just then before I sneezed was if they're the same color as any of these. Because I really like these. Don't use them enough, but I like them. Kept mine in the box. Looks like similar colors so that's um mango melody yes mango melody excellent that's my favorite one hello susan oh my goodness something's in the air today 
get a packet, well not a packet, a sheet, thank you. Oh my goodness, excuse me. I'm just gonna grab a tissue. get a sheet of mini dimensionals now I believe all the envelopes are exactly the same yep we've got envelopes which we'll put to the side you get one two three four five five of these sheets love the pine I love the water coloring actually lemon leaves Sun and pineapple now these are stickers or adhesive backed, should I say. So there's a big piece there, a big piece, and then lots of little strips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's two sheets of that. And then our card bases. We've got stripes. I think there's that extra one. So this is the extra. These are adhesive backed, the miniature, smaller compared to these ones and these are the extras that you can use to decorate your box. I've got some labels. That's gold stripes. We've got this beautiful golden sunshine or yellow splashes. We've got a sun rays and a yellow version. And then we've also got glue dots. I personally do not use these glue dots in the kit making process. I keep them and use them to adhere not adhesive backed sequins, but sequins that don't have, because these are perfect for that. And then I just use my own glue. And we have an instruction sheet. Oh, with some suggestions of alternate. Oh, I like that one. And I love this one. Love that box, the mini paper pump box explanation of your kit here are the cards and some black and white instructions but I'll just follow the picture so that's we want one of these let's start with the lemon oh dear Susan you haven't used all my paper pumpkin things you've got them you have some left of each one that you've gotten okay well that's lots of creativity there so we need one of those large it kind of winds up to the side this is so pretty so these kits are designed to be quick easy they're perfect for beginners or someone who would like to just you know do something creative but without too much thought or too much strain I do love kits for quick and easy they're great for travel as well interesting ah I've been punching out two there don't need that many how many sheets of this do we have got one two three Four, five very generous with the sheets may I say and we need three sets of leaves and we need one of these it's only one sheet of those a little something to brighten your day I'll even use the ink spot that they gave us the kits do not come with a block and I do like to open my ink spots completely I find them easier to use that way 
and so you just need to use your own block if you don't have any buying a D block will be perfect all the sentiments and that everything will fit so that's your perfect go-to block size a little something to brighten your day and because the ink spots are so small you can actually pick them up and whoa that was inky I'm gonna have to stamp that comes with cardboard I'm gonna stamp on that cardboard and give that a clean may need the big cleaner for this one. I'm going to use my stamp and scrub. I haven't used this in ages. I do use it to thoroughly clean my stamps, which is what I need right now. There we go. That ink has really gotten into there. Let's try again. Just stamp on that cardboard. Just, yep, I like. Love the same. Line it up because it's photopolymer, it's easy to line up. Now, what you could do is stamp all the sentiments and then put bits together, which would be smart. Now, I'm looking, it looks like this might be on dimensionals. Let's have a look. Why do they look like green adhesive um, sequins there? Just the angle of the sun, I guess. Number four. Stamp and die cut, adhere polka dot stickers to card bases layer die cut shapes and stamped labels on the card using adhesive dots and dimensionals and it doesn't specify so you can do whatever you like i mean you can do whatever you like either way i don't know i always like to take a kit and do the original design of the kit first and then go back and my kids call it free play <laughs> They said, can't you just do free play? It's like, absolutely. Let's put this one on a dimensional. Itty bitty dimensionals. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. Kids are also perfect for kids. Kits are perfect for kids. That there. And put that on dimensionals as well. Who's got theirs in the mail? Apart from those who subscribe in um, North America. Because I know I have some fellow Americans watching. I like that, crisscrossing the two. It's kind of what the example has. So I've only added the dimensionals to the backs of the leaves. And then, cute. And that can go across that lemon. How cute and simple is that? One card down already. Oops. There. Ah, nope. Hold on. Haven't quite finished. And a little one. Pretty. And what 
I like to do is always tuck the envelope into my card so that that is ready to go whenever I need to write on that. Let's do the pineapple next. You are loved. It looks like the black dot, polka dots are under, over, should I say, the pineapple. And you are loved is the sentiment. You are loved. It is super quick. That's why I thought today we might have actually time to play with some alternatives as well. So I'm going to use half my kit for the original design and then see what I can come up with on the fly, may I mad add, with some of the leftovers. Well, they're not really leftovers with the other bits. So we need a pineapple for this one. Look, this one's going to be super quick. Pineapple. Dotty striped. These are adhesive backs, so you don't even need glue for this bit. Going to make sure it's straight-ish. And then bing, bang, boom. That on dimensions. I've got to say, it's nice. I mean, I love creating, but I'm really enjoying the kit side of things. We have some other lovely kits, so if you don't, oh, well, I should mention that the paper pumpkin, this one, is limited edition, so it's while supplies last. And we had one last year that lasted only two weeks. So if this is something that's appealing to you, I wouldn't wait in ordering. And I'll put the link to my online store to the kit when this video ends. There we go. Two cards down. Already. Okay, you can't see that, but you can see these two. Let's try... Oh, I've done that one. Let's try the sunshine. So I'm just following the picture on... I'm just following these pictures. I haven't even opened up and read these properly, to be honest. I find the pictures enough. This one says hello, which I really like saying sending hello cards. Where do I put my clear block? Let's see. <laughs> that is the question. Well, I'm going to grab another one. And the hello needs to be to one side. So it'll be a bit um, exposed. Covered. Covered is the word we're looking for. I'm trying to put them back on the sticker sheet, on the stamp sheet. As we go, we need the sun. I'm taking from a sheet that I haven't taken from. That's okay. Doesn't matter. And see another one of these. It goes across here, approximately. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hello bit up on dimensionals and then add a bit of glue to the other half. Just for something different. Take that down. And then our sun goes over the top and then those rays look like they're coming out of the sun how cool is that and i'll put that on dimensionals 
got some creative license there if you're following the kit as to what you raise and what you don't. They don't specify. In other kits, they tend to tell you what to adhere with dimensionals and what to adhere with glue. Let me make sure that, yep. And that is the, oh no, sequins first. Sequins. And don't forget the sequin. These are super easy to use because they're adhesive backed. Love them. And you can buy these in three other colors. So it comes in a pack of four colors. So that's three cards done. One more to go with the red and orange. And no, it's not really red and orange, it's just orange. And, and this time we've got. We've got a bit more stamping to do. We'll start with the sen sentiment. Sunshine and then sending. I do need that bigger block for this one. Where did it go? Aha! Sending. So you can just write sunshine. The kit has it sending sunshine on one of these. Is that enough? the whole kit yes it is so you've got one spare one sunshine you are my sunshine my only sunshine I do not know the rest of the song good press Beautiful. oh I love it Love, love, love it. And then that sending. Should fit right there. Fantastic. And then we've got to stamp the sun. Oops, sorry. And those rays as well on this card. So this card has extra stamping. Is that cool? the sun and I will get another block for this let's see uses one of these and then it kind of goes about yay in the middle and then these go underneath so you could stamp mine's not sitting straight that's better could stamp them before you I'm gonna move it across that way a little bit just for kicks and then it's got the Sun coming up behind this so that will go here and we want the Sun Sun. That's how I line things up when I want them in a particular spot. Place, move, and then stamp. That little ink spot is juicy, which is awesome. Adding this on dimensionals. So I don't think you've ever seen me make so many cards in one life. This is definitely bright, fun, beautiful, and um, Productive? I don't know. That's not the right word, is it? <laughs> Productive seems to let it down. Um, what can we call it? Mass producing. I 
lovely sequins. Let's see. And grab an envelope and there we go we have the four cards let's see Are they no nope. gotta go this way yes they're all they're all in Woohoo! so this is the share sunshine paper pumpkin kit all four cards you can see how long have I been live what time is it my iPad does art 26 minutes uh, so as you can see not taking too long to make I made 26 cards well, 26 cards I made four cards in 26 minutes if you'd like more information about the paper pumpkin kit let me know I'll put a link in the video description as to where you can purchase it from my uh, online store and I hope to see you again soon don't forget to share some sunshine by sending some cards out to let people know that you're thinking of them. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.